Hi, this is Aprajita from Avaya Serviceability Engineering team. In this video, we'll learn how to enable clock synchronization on a VPMS or Experience Portal system. We will achieve this by making some configurations for Network Time Protocol Daemon, which is responsible for maintaining the system time in synchronization with the time servers using NTP. For this exercise, we will need to log in to VPMS console with root privileges. Now we have to modify ntp.conf file under slash etc to add the server which we want to use as primary external time source and we can also have a secondary time source. So if you look here, we have added two entries, clock1.server.abc.net and clock2.server.abc.net. The restrict declaration allows the response from the NTP servers into our system so our local clock can be synchronized. The no modify restriction will not allow the two servers to modify anything. So synchronization will still take place. Note that we have also included an entry for the undisciplined local clock. This is a fake driver and intended for backup when no outside source of synchronization is available. Since the local clock is not very accurate, it should be fudged to a low stratum. The triple declaration allows the NTP daemon to record information regarding the accuracy of the local clock in the file specified. Authentication keys allow for remote monitoring and configuration which we will not use here. After any changes have been made to the configuration file, we will simply save it. The next step would be to modify step tickers file under slash etc slash ntp. In this file, we have to add the server names or the IP addresses of the external primary as well as secondary time servers that we have defined. So in our case, it would be clock1.server.abc.net and clock2.server.abc.net. Just save this in the file. And to make the changes effective, we have to restart the NTPD service. Once the service is started, we have to make sure that NTPD is set to start automatically at the boot time. So this is the command to check that. Check config hyphen hyphen list NTPD. If you get the same output on your system as well, you are good. Otherwise, you can enable it by using check config ntpd on command on the console. To make the changes effective, we'll have to restart the VPMS service after this. Thank you for watching this video. For any questions and feedback, please write to mentor at avaya.com or follow us on Twitter at avaya mentor.